Hey friends, come on, come back to our villa for sale. And you know what happened? She wants a break between 9 and 12 noon the next day. From 9 till noon? And she questions why? They have asked me to play in a film at the John Will studio. You are going to act for the cinema. That's surprising for the, for the owner. Yes, madam. What kind of part are you going to play? What are you going to play? Did she say? A maid, madam. They prefer the real article. Real article, real person. You as... mean to say they actually are so conscious there that they wanted a maid to play a maid. Right, a real maid. Right? They don't want to make somebody as maid. Here she says, they say maids are born maids, not made maids. They are giving me a hundred francs a morning for doing it. And here they say that they feel maids are born made maids, not made maids. So maids are not made maids, but they are born maids, what they feel. You can try the tongue twister. <laughs> now she says, one hundred francs? That's surprising actually. Yes, madam. And as you only pay me 400 a month, I can't very well refuse. Can I, madam? A hundred francs, it's unbelievable. Right, kids, hundred francs a morning only for three hours. That's unbelievable. Will you permit me, madam, to tell you something I have suddenly thought of? Permit, allow me to say something. What? Which is, what is it? They want a cook in the film as well. They asked me if I knew of anybody suitable. You said just now, madam, that times were hard. And she adds, would you like me to get you the engagement? Kids, times were hard. Let's look at that. Yeah, times were hard is a difficult financial condition, a bad financial condition. An engagement, it's work. The maid is offering work to the owner. And she says, what? <laughs> you see, that's crazy. Now, every little helps, madame, especially madame, as you have such a funny face. Thank you. Okay, here she says, thank you for saying no thanks. I don't want that job. But maid takes no notice and she says, they might take you on for eight days, madame. That would mean 800 francs. And she says, it's really money for nothing. You would only have to peel potatoes one minute and make an omelette the next. Quite easy. I could show you how to do it, madame. Here the maid is actually teaching the owner how to work and giving her a job offer. And she how says, kind of you! <laughs> but thank God I'm not quite so hard up as that yet. I'm not, not in such a bad condition. I don't need all this. Right. I'm not so broke that I have to work, I have to do such kind of work. Okay. Oh, madame, I hope you are not angry with me. <laughs> and now, kids, during those days, let's see. Not in the least. Yes. And during those days, people would look at acting as a poor business, not a very good act. And now she says, you see, madame, Film acting is rather looked up round here. Everybody wants to do it. Looked up to a respected profession nowadays. And everybody wants to do it. Yesterday, the butcher didn't open his shop. He was being shot all the morning. Butcher. Am I being compared to a butcher? No, butcher here means someone who actually... Cuts meat. Right. Cuts meat. He didn't open his shop. He was actually being shot all day. So he, she's saying that everybody wants to do it. And today, nobody could find the four policemen. They were taking part in Monsieur Milton's fight scene in his new film. Monsieur Milton, Monsieur in French means Mr. or Sir. Right. It's a French word, kids. Monsieur. Now, four policemen were vanished. Nobody thinks about anything else around here now. You see, they pay so well. That must be the perk of living in Joinville, right? Maybe. The Hollywood. Yeah, everybody gets an opportunity to act. And here she adds, the manager is offer offering a thousand francs for a real beggar who has had nothing to eat for two days. Okay, oh, a beggar. 
You see, she says that some people have all the luck, even a beggar has all the luck. Think it over, madame. <laughs> Think about it. Thanks, I will. Crazy, isn't that? Now, if you would go and see them with your hair slicked back with the way you do when you are dressing, madame, I'm sure they would engage you right away. Slicked back, kids. Make your hair flat and shiny with water or oil. Mm. Engage, Engage, occupy. To right give you the way. work. They will right. give you the work immediately. Do you think Juliet wants this job? Of course not. Because really, madame, you look too comical. She doesn't stop saying it, kids. This gets really funny. You look too funny, madame. I don't know if she's going to take it as a compliment or what. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Now, kids, here. Yeah. The bell rings. Ting tong. Ting tong. I am going upstairs for a moment. If that is the lady, tell her I will not be long. Right. It won't do to give her the impression that I am waiting for her. Right. So these are the people who, who have come here to buy the villa. And now she's trying to say that if I appear here, it will look that I was waiting for them and I'm desperate to sell the villa. And the price may reduce further. Right. Quite smart she is. Very good, madam. Exit Juliet as she runs off to open the front door. And at that time, Juliet says, if I could become a Greta Garbo, well, why can't I? Oh, and Greta Garbo is a famous Franco-Swedish actress. Very, very famous in, the, in those olden days. A second later, the maid returns, showing in Gaston and Jean. Remember, we had spoken about Gaston. That's French. And Jeanne. And now they come in. And the maid says, if you will be kind enough to sit down, I will tell Madame you are here. Thank you, says Jeanne. And they come and sit down. The maid exits. My dear friends. Yes. Oh, the maid is back. Yes. yes the maid has exited, my dear friends. And what is going to happen now? Ah. Gaston and Jeanne going to buy this villa. We will see you in the next module. Stay tuned.